how to convert a wardrobe closet into a storage closet. But first, before you forget, please take a moment right now, hit the subscribe button. If you like old timey skills, cooking from scratch, even on a wood stove and in a fireplace, as well as a handmade home, welcome to the community. Let's jump right in. My name is Jersey. Here's a very, very old wardrobe antique cabinet that we bought a week or two ago, and I'm gonna convert it into my baking, canning, supply cabinet, a catch-all for all the other things that I don't have room and storage for. This is where we store our dinner and lunch dishes. As you can see, there's way too many. I'm gonna have to go through and purge some, and any that don't fit, I'm gonna put into the big wardrobe cabinet. Like I can't get to the large dinner dishes and the smaller dinner plates, it's too cluttered. In this cabinet, the very first one on the left, that will hold my canning supplies and materials. All the shelving was already there. The other two cabinets, we are going to make our own shelving. But I'm going to use this mostly for holding my regular canning, not my UV. I have a separate cabinet just for my UV. And then this one, I'm going to keep that top shelf, remove that bar and cleats and hardware inside. I'll reuse them somewhere else, but I'm going to put just as many shelves over here that was in the first cabinet was the end wardrobe. I'm going to keep the top two shelves exactly the way they are. Remove the wire bar again. Before I begin any project, I usually go get a basket like this that I got for 55 cents with the little glass holder insert that I got for 40 cents. That will hold the nails and the screws and stuff. And I keep them all together until I'm done. And I have a heavy duty plastic parts bag that I labeled for the screws that go with the cabinet poles that we're taking off. Keep everything together. If I was putting these back on, I would keep the screws and nuts with each one, but since I am saving them for another project down the road, it doesn't matter where they go. This is a beehive tool. It has a very, very thin edge for prying up the nine nails that are in the little plaque of wood that we need to remove. All the hardware is completely off, and this used to have a lock on it, it doesn't any longer. So we remove the nails and the screws. Luckily the latch can still be used. The hooks we took off are really super heavy and nice. They have the letter S on them. I'm gonna reuse them somewhere else in the house. And this is a heavy duty basket that I keep over to the shop. It holds hardware, handles, things that I can use for cabinets or hanging on the wall. So I put them all over to the right hand side and then I put the bag behind it with the screws, which really doesn't matter, but I just kept them all together. So if I want to reuse them again on another project, I will have them all in one place. And I don't like the bright white of this because Ray had to cut the tongue off. These were tongue and groove paneling from the cabinet we tore down. So I'm going to try to blend it and I don't feel like going out. This is shoe polish from the Dollar Tree. That's what I use for my gourds. Got my nitrate glove on. And just rub it on and rub it off. As long as it tones down the shininess of it, that's all I care. I just don't want it bright. And this wood actually is like a gray, gray, black, charcoal light. It's looking better already. I just don't want to open the cabinet and have stark, bright, new, freshly cut wood. So for now, this will suffice. As you can tell, it's a lot better than that one. See the difference already on the two? So I'm gonna do them all and I'll come back and take a picture. There, I made the camera a little darker so you can see how the black blends very well. All the shelves have been installed from recycled lumber from our cabin that we tore down. Same thing over here. And I decided to purge, so I gave all the other dishes I did not use to my son. I ran out of time yesterday. This cabinet is staying basically the same for now. And this is the second cabinet. I have my two instant pots and their accessories. Empty shelf, cake platters, all that room up there. I better get filling it because I told hubby I really needed this cabinet. So I'll probably move some of my kitchen items in here. And then this one, I started moving my pantry containers over. I need to take that out and put it into jars. Same thing with my raw sugar and confectionery sugar. I put them into jars 
and store the overflow up there. One shelf is all sugars, one shelf is flour, one shelf is miscellaneous. So eventually I'll have most of my baking cabinet moved over. Hey, mommy girl. What are you doing? Are you helping? There's Miss Brianna. What do you think? And that is how I transformed this closed wardrobe into a storage cabinet. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so not to miss all the great things to come. Please like, comment, and most important, please share on social media. Thank you so much.